Article 45, shall a town of Campton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $520,000 for construction for the construction of an American with Disabilities Act compliant six foot sidewalk on the west side of Mace Road, including installation of ADA compliant ramps and, co and crosswalks connecting Mill Road to High Street. Mm -hmm. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 3 0, not recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee 3 8. Fiscal impact the estimated 2018 tax impact on $520,000 is 15. Point six cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 45? Moderator. Moved by Ms. Barnes. Is there a second to seconded by Mr. Bean? Is there anyone here who would like to speak to Article 45? Yes. Okay. Thank you. If you could just state your name and your address, please. Yep. My name is Megan Riley, and I'm on 14 Toby Street. So I submitted this Warren article petition, and I feel strongly about this article, as do the people who came and are joining me today. The construction of a sidewalk on Mace Road would be a great addition to Hampton's active community, providing a safe option for children to and from school, their friends' houses, runners, walkers, or even those with their dogs. We have a beautiful playground, which I'm sure most of you have seen, the parks and recreation built over at Five Corners, and families, including myself and those here, uh, feel more comfortable driving there than risking walking with strollers, wagons, or their children for just a few hundred yards up the street. This is not a standalone, nice-to-have sidewalk for my street. Everyone knows how dangerous Mace Road is. This would connect existing sidewalks on Mill and High Street, and think about the schools in the area. This would create a perimeter around Marston. There's also that village preschool right there, allowing a number of residents to walk, safe, walk safely um, with a direct route to other main roads. Yes, it's an investment, and I recognize there is a lot on the ballot this year. But safety should not be an afterthought. This was submitted after consultation of feasibility and DPW assessment. We need to be proactive. Drivers are distracted. They're talking, they're texting, and they're driving too fast. And unfortunately, we've seen that accidents can happen. We can't keep pushing off until something tragic happens to prompt construction. One accident is one too many, and our children and residents deserve better than that. So I hope the community will support this Warren article. Thank you for your time. Ms. Riley. Is there any sidewalk between Mill and um, High Street on Mace Road? I'm sorry. So when you go from Mill Road to High Street on Mace, is there any sidewalk oh, at no. all? No, none at all. No. So this would run from Mill Road to High Street? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Wolsey. At the risk of boring everyone, I don't agree with the article, I do not support it. However, this is something that needs to be uh, addressed. I had a talk with Kevin Schultz, and then I had a talk with Jason Bashan, the town planner. And I have suggested that Jason bring to the planning board a, uh, an, a requirement on future neighborhood developments not just a single dwelling, but future neighborhood developments, to require the developer to put a sidewalk in at least one side of the road. There's no reason why we should have to keep going back to the public and, and looking for a lot of money to do these construction projects. And we have more than enough sidewalks to try to man, maintain. The Public Works Department is, is stressed out. But I, I can understand where they're coming from. I respect them for bringing the problem up. But I would hope to see in future developments, and I'm kind of surprised the planning board hasn't been doing this, to force developers as a requirement to get their plan approved to have at least one sidewalk in place, new construction, so we don't have to fight this all the time. At least it will help us in the newer neighborhoods. Thank you, Ms. Woolsey. Anyone else wish you to be heard? Hi, I'm Ashley Axel. I live at 50 Hobbs Road. I'm one of the residents that live off of Mace Road. I have two young boys, and there's a bunch of us here that live off of Toby, Thompson, Hobbs. 
um, <clears throat> going to that um, Five Corners playground is very dangerous. Um, I live two, three streets over. I always drive with my boys. Um, it's just too dangerous to walk on Mace Road. Cars fly by, and there's so many kids that live in all those developments that they would be nice to have the sidewalks and invest in those sidewalks to make it a lot safer for the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Yes, ma'am. Barbara Kravitz, 8 St. Cyr Drive. I uh, recognize the urgency of the problem as the neighbors see it, but it's my understanding that the uh, DPW has uh, gone to great lengths to create a list of priorities in terms of the many sidewalks that need to be done. So much as I understand the reason I would oppose this isolated um, request. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Hi, I'm Sarah Hill, 52 Esker Road. Um, I support this article. There are a lot of families coming to Hampton and certainly a lot of young kids in that area and a great new park. Um, it should be safer. I've seen kids riding bikes on that street and it should be safer with a sidewalk. I do support, you know, any making any sidewalk better and adding more sidewalks and just making it a safer walking community for um, the kids. Thank you. I don't think we have a, a map, but this, um, I think we heard some of the streets. This is in a part of town where there are quite a few streets that come from, I'm going to say, a housing stock that you might find younger families occupying. Um, so we've got Thompson and Toby and Hobbs and, uh, and then Naves across the streets and, and Knoll. So there, there are quite a few um, streets that would funnel, um, funnel into this. You could state your name uh, and address for the uh, Jen McIsaac, this is Matthew McIsaac, uh, 6 Janet Lane. Um, so my road directly connects yeah, to Janet Mace. Lane is a it's new actually a dead end road, yeah, so Mace yeah. is my only outlet. Yeah. I have braved Mace several times to go to the playground, to go over to Hobbs, to go up to Toby. And the other thing that makes me really nervous about Mace is how narrow that is. Even if people see you, they don't have the opportunity to swerve around you because they would be coming into oncoming traffic. So for me, again, I have three young kids. Um, I'm totally in support of Article 45, and I would ask everybody, again, this is an investment. I'm not willing to put any of my kids' lives at danger, uh, and so I would just ask that everybody please vote as well. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Yes, sir. How you doing? John Riley, 14 Toby Street. My wife is Megan, and uh, I understand all the talk about making a plan to get sidewalks everywhere in Hampton, but... I believe we need to start somewhere. Um, I think Mace Road is a great place to start. Like my wife said, it does connect many roads, schools, and a beautiful park that the Parks and Recs just put in. I want to empower the people who don't have kids right now, maybe did have kids, maybe have grandkids, cousins, niece, nephews. Think about where you were 30, maybe 40 years ago, and um, we've heard a lot of times it's, oh, I wish they had a sidewalk there, I wish they had a sidewalk there, but I think we should, the community should do something about it now, and let's vote yes on this to start off, and then we can work our way out to other maybe neighborhoods and make Hampton safer for girls like Lila. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Riley. Anyone else wishing to be heard on um, Article 45? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Kravitz works. Yep, we've got one before him. Yes, please. I'm very impressed by the youth or our future voters. On this, if you cannot afford to put in a sidewalk, how about some speed bumps, a lower speed limit on this street, something that takes into account the feelings of these people and your budgetary needs. Come up with some kind of a coordination. Don't ignore this need. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Andy Stelmack. Mr. Kravitz. Sonny Kravitz, 8 St. Sid Drive. I'm not opposed to sidewalks, but when Fred Welch came before the Budget Committee and pointed out that sidewalks have to be six feet wide, and in order to put sidewalks in that area, they'd have to be land taking, so there has to be a whole engineering study and a whole process. That's why. 
I voted against it at this point. They have to talk to DPW and get into line. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Provencial? Uh, Brian Provencial, once again. Um, I live in Hampton Beach, and I'm all in favor of uh, sidewalks. We, um, we need some help with our sidewalks down the beach, and my hat's off to these voters for taking the initiative to put a Warren article out to get their sidewalk done. Maybe some other people need to do that as well. Um, as far as what Ms. Wolsey said, um, I believe when McDonald's came in, there was some give and take there, and they put a sidewalk in from uh, Route 1 down to Anne's Lane. I believe they paid for that. So maybe some other people could be doing that as well. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Provencial. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Jacobs. The Deputy Director, uh, Jennifer Hale, um, helped this party put together their, their cost estimate. Uh, she informed me before she had to leave that there is adequate width within the right-of-way for a six-foot-wide sidewalk to be added in this location. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Anyone else? Ms. Kelly? I just wanted to clarify. I said Mark Kelly. I That's okay. Riley. Maggie Riley. That's okay. I just want to clarify that, that before I uh, put this forward and we, we went forward with this, I did work with the DPW because um, I wouldn't be putting this forward if it wasn't something that we'd be able to do. So I know it looks when you go on the road that it is really small and narrow, but um, as you were just saying, the DPW did take a look at it and they, they said that it would be something that's feasible. So I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Riley. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Ms. Hill? Sarah Hill, 52 Esker Road. I would also like to say that it would uh, essentially um, improve the aesthetics of that road. I mean, even right now with the plows and the snow, there's lots of mud and ditches and, you know, half of that area that the sidewalk would be at would be covering up um, what's right now. I mean, it looks pretty bad between the yards and the road. So I think it would actually improve the aesthetics as well as the safety. Thank you. Mr. Moderator. Yes, Mr. Griffin. I would like to say that this is a good idea. And this gives credence to why the town has a problem with the state. The fact that when we here in Hampton try to do things um, to make things better, and that's not always what happens down the beach, especially with the sidewalks at the beach. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mr. Uh, Moderator, Ms. Bean. Importantly, uh, I would like to reemphasize the unanimous vote by the Board of Selectmen in support of this. I would like to reemphasize the fact that this uh, does not involve any taking that was misinformation. I would like to emphasize how important it is that these people are rejoined to their rights of movement. They are essentially captive in their neighborhoods. Uh, it is a very dangerous, dangerous phenomena. We have just uh, read in the newspaper about the uh, adjudication of uh, almost $10 million award for Hampton residents that were injured around a sidewalk issue. Prior to the high street uh, installation of a sidewalk, there was tragically the death of a young uh, girl in Hampton. And this is money very well invested. Uh, it speaks very well to these, these young adults that are in this town. Uh, and it is a reinvestment of their tax dollars, their homeowners, they're protecting their children, and it's the right thing to do. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. Bean. All right. Um, we are moving on. Article 45 is going to appear on the uh, ballot as it's printed.